Theodore C.S. Grigorovich Dobzhansky Formams was a prominent Ukrainian-born American geneticist and evolutionary biologist, and a central figure in the field of evolutionary biology for his work in shaping the unifying modern evolutionary synthesis. Dobzhansky was born in Ukraine, then part of the Russian Empire, and became an immigrant to the United States in 1927, aged 27 years old. His 1937 work Genetics and the Origin of Species became a major influence on the synthesis and was awarded the U.S. National Medal of Science in 1964, and the Franklin Medal in 1973. Biography Early life Dobzhansky was born on January 25, 1900 in Nemirov, Russian Empire, currently Ukraine, an only child. His father, Grigory Dobzhansky, was a mathematics teacher, and his mother was Sofia Voynarsky. In 1910 the family moved to Kiev, Russian Empire. At high school, Dobzhansky collected butterflies and decided to become a biologist. In 1915, he met Viktor Luchnik who convinced him to specialize in beetles instead. Dobzhansky attended the Kiev State University between 1917 and 1921, where he then studied until 1924. He then moved to St. Petersburg, Russia, to study under Yuri Filipchenko, where a Drosophila Milanogaster lab had been established. On August 8, 1924, Dobzhansky married geneticist Natalia Natasha Sivetseva who was working with I. I. Schmalhausen in Kiev, Ukraine. The Dobzhanskys had one daughter, Sophie, who later married the American archaeologist and anthropologist Michael D. Co. Before moving to the USA, Dobzhansky published 35 scientific works on entomology, genetics and zoo technique. America Dobzhansky emigrated to the United States in 1927 on a scholarship from the International Education Board of the Rockefeller Foundation to work and study in the United States. Arriving in New York on December 27, he worked with Thomas Hunt Morgan at Columbia University who had pioneered the use of fruit flies in genetics experiments. He followed Morgan to the California Institute of Technology from 1930 to 1940. On the basis of his experiments, he articulated the idea that reproductive isolation can be caused by differences in presence of microbial symbionts between populations. In 1937, he published one of the major works of the modern evolutionary synthesis, The Synthesis of Evolutionary Biology with Genetics, and titled Genetics and the Origin of Species, which amongst other things, defined evolution as a change in the frequency of an allele within a gene pool. Dobzhansky's work was instrumental in spreading the idea that it is through mutations in genes that natural selection takes place. Also in 1937, he became a naturalized citizen of the United States. During this time, he had a very public falling out with one of his Drosophila collaborators, Alfred Stershevent, based primarily in professional competition. In 1941, Dobzhansky was awarded the Daniel Gerard Elliott Medal from the National Academy of Sciences. He returned to Columbia University from 1940 to 1962. He was one of the signatories of the 1950 UNESCO statement The Race Question. He then moved to the Rockefeller Institute until his retirement in 1971. In 1972 he was elected the first president of the BGA, and was recognized by the Society for his role in behavior genetics and the founding of the society by the creation of the Dobzhansky Award. Dobzhansky was elected a foreign member of the Royal Society in 1965. In 1970, he published Genetics of the Evolutionary Process. Final Illness and the Light of Evolution Dobzhansky's wife Natasha died of coronary thrombosis on February 22, 1969. 
Earlier Theodore Sears had been diagnosed with lymphocytic leukemia and had been given a few months to a few years to live. He retired in 1971, moving to the University of California, Davis where his student Francisco José Ayala had been made assistant professor, and where he continued working as an emeritus professor. He published one of his most famous essays, Nothing in Biology Makes Sense Except in the Light of Evolution, at this time. Influenced by the paleontologist, priest Pierre Teilhard de Chardin, by 1975, his leukemia had become more severe, and on November 11, he traveled to San Jacinto, California for treatment and care. He died on December 18. He was cremated, and his ashes were scattered in the Californian wilderness. Religious beliefs Hernst Meyer stated, on the other hand, famous evolutionists such as Dobzhansky were firm believers in a personal God. Dobzhansky himself spoke of God as creating through evolution, and considered himself a communicant of the Eastern Orthodox Church. Publications during his career, Dobzhansky published widely in books and peer-reviewed scientific journals. Books Synod, E. W. Dunn, L. C. and Dobzhansky, T. H. 1925, Principles of Genetics, McGraw-Hill, Dobzhansky, T. H. 1937, Genetics and the Origin of Species, Columbia University Press, New York. The Biological Basis of Human Freedom, Dunn, C., and Dobzhansky, T.H., 1946, Heredity, Race, and Society, The New American Library of World Literature, Inc., New York, Dobzhansky, T.H., 1955, Evolution, Genetics, and Man, Wiley and Sons, New York, Dobzhansky, T.H., 1962, Mankind Evolving, Yale University Press, New Haven, Connecticut, Dobzhansky, T.H., 1967, The Biology of Ultimate Concern, New American Library, New York, Dobzhansky, T.H., 1970, Genetics of the Evolutionary Process, Columbia University Press, New York, Dobzhansky, T.H., 1973, Genetic Diversity and Human Equality, Basic Books, New York, Dobzhansky, THFJ, Ayala, GL, Stebbins and JW, Valentine, 1977, Evolution, WH, Freeman, San Francisco, Dobzhansky, TH, 1981, Dobzhansky's Genetics of Natural Populations IXLIII, R.C., Lou Antin, J.A., Moore, W.B., Provina and B., Wallace, Eds, Columbia University Press, New York, Dobzhansky, T.H., and Bowie Sager, 1983, Human Culture, A Moment in Evolution, Columbia University Press, New York, Papiers Dobzhansky, T.H., Nothing in biology makes sense except in the light of evolution. The American Biology Teacher 35, 125 to 129, DOI 10.2307, 4,444,000, 260, JSTOR 4,444,260, Dobzhansky, TH, 1960, Pavlovsky. An Experimental Study of Interaction Between Genetic Drift and Natural Selection, Evolution 11, 311-319, DOI, 10.2307, 2,405,795, JSTOR 2,405,795, Recensions Dobzhansky, TH. Wrote a recension of The Origin of Races by the anthropologist Carlton S. Kuhn. Dobzhansky rejected Kuhn's theory of independent origin of identical mutations, but he did agree that selection favored a sapiens like genotype in all proto human populations, and expressed the theory that all sapiens alleles existed at a low frequency in all erectus populations 
and that the statistical composition of the gene pool shifted from Erectus to Sapiens in multiple populations independently.